Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing these industrial LED light fixtures. So this comes in a set of two. These are basically like wall sconces. I love that they have some different options with how you can get them set up. I already put this one together, but I'll show you everything that it comes with when they come unassembled. I did pick the black option. I just really like how this looks. You can see in the back here, this is set up to be able to hardwire into your electricity in your house. That's not how I'm gonna be setting it up today, but I do like that that is an option if that is something you choose to do. This actually also does come with a battery powered little light here that you just push in order to turn on and off. I like that I can just screw this piece into the wall and I don't need to hardwire anything, but I'm still going to change the look of a room really nice and easily. I'm gonna show you how this comes and how to assemble it. This is what everything comes looking like unassembled. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this with this little battery powered light so that I don't need to hardwire anything into the walls. And this is the little piece that it comes with. It has room for three AA batteries right here. And that's just going to click right into place with this piece, which is going to stick into where you would normally put a light bulb um, in the main fixture here. We have all the little pieces that you would need in this spot right here. I'm just going to assemble this so it can look like the first one that I showed you. I'm gonna start by removing this ring right here and I'm gonna put this little piece in and then the main lamp shade and screw that ring back on. And then you can fasten these little screws on the outside. And then on the inside here, we're gonna fasten this little light bulb replacement piece for the battery powered part. So now we're ready to put these batteries into this battery operated light right here. I'm just gonna stick these three double A's in. Okay, now that's all pushed in and ready to go. And I'm gonna set this up the way that I'd like. You can see you can adjust this whatever direction that you would like, just so that it works perfectly. If you have this behind a chair and you want the light to be pointing a certain direction, you can do that. I like the look of it just facing completely down. You can either manually just push this to turn it on and then off, or you can use this little remote control that it comes with. It does come with a remote control for both this wall sconce and the other one that it comes with. I'll just push this right over here. And it also comes with the hard wiring materials for both of these as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light so I can show you what these wall sconce lights look like when they are battery powered. Okay, so if I just push it just like this, the light comes on and I just feel like that looks so nice. You would not be able to tell that this is not a light bulb inside, especially because this isn't a type of light fixture that you have high up. Okay, that looks so nice. So we have an on and an off switch here and a dimming switch. So I'm just gonna use this remote control to dim the light and to make it brighter. So this is at 100%, this is at 50%, which is perfect if you have this on the side of your bed for reading, for example. We have a 15, 30, 60, and 120 minute timer here. I like that you can switch it from the warm to the cool tones. And then when you do have this at 100% brightness, you can dim it little bit by little bit just to customize it to whatever you need it for. Okay, now that we know how this wall sconce works and how it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a place that's gonna work for us and show you what it looks like. After deciding where we wanted this, we just placed this on the wall. We screwed in the first screw and then made sure everything was nice and level before putting in the second screw to fully fasten it to the wall. And then we put the light fixture on here and fastened that with the brackets, and which was super easy to do. I was so happy with this process. I feel like the overall look looks really nice. You can't tell that it's not wired into the wall if this is the way you choose to do it. So you can see here, now it's ready to just use the remote. The same remote works on both of them. You can see this is turned on fully on the warm white setting, and then here is 50%. Overall, love this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.